whole travel to China is to get me in trouble. Where are we? The whole thing is otherwise. A couple of words, a couple of phrases. Barbara pulled together some very interesting work which she's going to share with us tonight. Okay. Um, I don't have a lot of copies. I gave out the copies I have. So if those of you who have copies could share, that would be great. Okay. Um, so basically, what happened was I was looking for this expression. <coughs> which comes out to... Um, I think. So this word can mean like ac um, according to things like that. So, and this this word taota is actually these two words taota the article and a word meaning it can mean several things, but when it's used with an article in this way, it tends to mean the same, right? So, I did a search um, in the TLG for the time is first of where the occurrences of this were, you know. And you'll see how it's important and why it's important, because it's like on the highest level of the model, of the paradigm in the Timaeus, that they use this expression. But then I started getting curious as to where else does it occur. And it occurs in the symposium, for example, with respect to being, uh, the beauty, the, the experience of beauty itself. And, of course, <coughs> that's the other. That's the same name for the most radiant light of being. It's beauty itself. So, but what I did when I was trying to last last weekend when I was really sick for four days, I sat and um, did some work every day because you know when you're sick you can't move around, you can't jump up and down very much, but you can like go to borders, sit down, and and you know get into it. So that's what I would do. But uh, this week I've been working pedal to the metal and not having time to really reflect as deeply as I'd like about it. <coughs> so this is basically a translation, and I found some things of really astonishing beauty in the Greek. And, but, but I started with a quote from the Phaedo that I grabbed off my list in the, in the very beginning, because it, it shows two interesting expressions. Um, do you see, it, um, it actually shouldn't say is the absolute sea, I think it's, it, ah, is the absolute usia, and they translated it as essence, which we in our dialectic process of question and answer call being, and that's to ani, which is the infinitive form, for those of you who follow the Greek, always the same, or is it liable to change? So you got, I think absolute essence isn't really a good way to talk about usia, but if you want to hold that as a possible way of thinking about it, they're asking about this... Um, or what would you do with, well, let me, let's just hold it as usia and watch what happens to it in, in the next part of the quote. Absolute equality, absolute beauty, any absolute existence, and it should say true being, toe on there. Do they ever admit of any change whatsoever? Or does each absolute essence, it should be with two S's, I typed this at the last minute, since it is uniform and exists by itself, remain the same and never in any way admit of any change. What I wanted to do, that's kind of a heavy quote, right? But what I wanted to do with that quote is show you that in red, this idea of remain the same is exactly this expression. Although it has, it adds on echon, which means to hold, right? It's a participle, holding according to the same. And that expression is what you often see in the Timaeus as well, about the divine paradigm. So, what else did it? There's other terms in here, uniform. Um, let's not, well, I don't want to go there for the moment, but can I just take you into this translation? It says, and I put some notes, I hope to help people with those notes, and I'm, I'm happy to send this to anybody. Um, who doesn't have it. I, I, I didn't think of that. I wanted to bring something with me because I didn't have time to make, you know, a chart of the Greek. So, um, so the time is, this is, a, you can see the black number indicating 28, so this is just before 28. Then, first of all, we must, in my opinion, make the following distinction. What is being always, toe on, right? 
having no origination, and what is becoming, always, never being. While being, on the one hand, is to be, it could embraced or comprehended by means of the process of news, by means of logos, being always according to the same. Like, isn't that an incredible sentence? If I could just back it up one more time. We must make the following distinction. So we have on one side, being always the same. Being always, sorry. No origination, no coming into being. And there are alternative terms for this. And on the other side you have becoming always. And never being. And so then you said, while being on the one hand is to be embraced or comprehended. So you're going to have a comprehension of this being, right? And it's going to be by means of the process of news, right? By means, again, of logos. These are two different ways of expressing the idea of means. But don't you think that's fascinating? How do you see that as working? Don't have another copy, sweetie. No, no, I just wanted to say, yes, I do think that's fascinating. Ah, so what do you see? Well, uh, I was curious about your use of um, the process of news. Because it's an oasis. Right, rather than the activity of news, not that there's a difference. You know, and I know you, wearing glasses, being into the Greek the way you are, would realize that, but process as intellectual, right? And then I also found it curious how you translated the logos. By means of logos, but it's a meta logo. Yes, thinking, it is. Yes. And I was just thinking I'd go something like by intellection combined with reason or something like that. Yeah. I was just thinking about the difference between how I would translate that. Yeah. 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 That's a big difference. Yeah. And I considered with, you know, in fact, I had yeah. with, but I had a discussion with Pierre and we were talking about it. And, and the thing is, do you want to say that news yes. is like got this companion? You know, like, it's traveling, news is traveling with, with Logos. Reason, yeah. yeah. With, you know, I, I was saying it that Logos is a, about as mysterious of a word as, well, so, now you, now you want to, well, anyway. So, the reason I went with <coughs> that, that it's news is the same pow power of the mind, and I think activity is not a bad way to go with it, yeah. right? Um, Even activity as a process or something. So... If you had activity, and then, but I, I do think that by means of logos is a, a better translation than with. Because I think with doesn't allow, mm -hmm. with takes you into like accompanied by the sidekick of reason. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I don't like about it. That's why I threw in combined, you know, like, or coupled, you know, to get that kind of like male-female union image going. I don't know. I'm into these male-female uh, unions. Barb, in, ter in terms of by means the of the process, I, I had a question graph. about it because process, the problem graph, exactly in, in my background, it, it is Sorry. not clear, so I wanted to know if there was another word for by means of, what does by means of, would activity be? Cause it, the data usually takes uh, by means of, right? the data with instrument. The Greek is that. So yeah, the noesis is in the data. Uh -huh. is, That's why I translate it. So, by means Sorry. of, so, but I, I was attracted by the idea of my activity of, yes. by means of the activity of news. I, I guess I'm... Um, I don't know if you heard the, the, the I just yes. said that I thought that perhaps that was a better translation. I don't know if you heard me say Okay, that. if you say, by, what would it be? How would you translate then, or treat trade off by means of the process. Would you just change process to activity? Yep. And therefore it would be by means of the activity of news. Yep. Uh, do I need a commentary? By means of the log so through the logos then act the activity of the news is comprehended. Is that 
I'm missing something. That's why. No, you're not missing anything. I really like the first part of that because mm. that's the, that's exactly what I was wondering if people saw that because it looks like in this translation that it's logos that enables you to um, to act to use mind or be in 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 the pro, in the activity of mind itself. Oh, I like that. Right. That makes sense. So um, mm -hmm. I, I like the way you put that together. I didn't I didn't wasn't sure how to bring it out by questioning, but that's absolutely so, right on. Okay. Is that Thank fair you. for everybody? So, um, so I think that, that um, I wonder why this has yes. so, so if you have by means of the activity of news, by means of logos, which means logos then brings you into the activity of mind. Yeah. Mind then allows you to um, uh, embrace or comprehend. This is paralepton, which means to, to it's the word meaning having the word um, have or hold around, and so you get the idea of comprehending, wow. Wow. you know, mentally and kind of physically. And so they give embrace, and I changed it to comprehend it because it will come up again in the bottom of the text. If I go to I like text because I get nervous, just kind of go forward. It's good. Thank in the you. background. I like it. I was wondering, you seem to have a problem with the idea of companionship, and even to make fun of it a little bit. Like, that, yes, that that's reason right. being That reason being intellection's companion would be kind of a laughable statement. Yes, yes. So I was wondering if you could go over how you see that as lap. Mm -hmm. To me, it seems all right, you know, intellectually coupled with reason. Well, how about you go? We go the other way because we're right. suggesting that that logos is the way of joining into the activity of mind. Mm -hmm. It is a means to to mind oh, to, to joining the activity of mind. Like yeah, rather than oh, that's good. Concomitant. That's good. You're that's the problem I have is with concomitant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so just to clarify the word logos then, would that be, could we say like a, a yoga or a meditation or something? Hmm, or? What a good thought. Well, um, logos means, um, it, it, the whole problem with logos is similar to the problem we have with news, you know, or phronesis. It has a range of meaning. It can mean word. It can mean argument. It can mean as, as um, Reasoning. Reasoning. Reason or reasoning, a process of reasoning. Um, so it has a whole range of possible meanings. <coughs> but if you look at, uh, so I think, in fact, our colleague over here, does, do you have anything you'd like to add to understanding logos? Well, I was just recollecting that uh, <coughs> in the divided line in the Republic, the highest section, the logos itself, grasps. Which is the same. But the highest section, the logos itself grasps. Grasp. The highest part of the divided line, the realm of, of mind, right? The, the intelligible realm is grasped by logos again, see? In other words. Born. It's also in that section in the beginning of John, in the beginning with the word, and if, the word is with God, and the word with God. Same word. Is there. Did you have a question? Yeah, I was thinking what dialogue or what section of dialogue would represent Logos most ideally? The chime is. Yes. The That's time the is. goal of the chime is. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, the goal. Perhaps that section. That's right. The goal right, of the chime is. That's the goal of the chime is. Is to give a Logos, right? Yeah. And it's to define all of these terms. Hmm. Right. The Timaeus is based on the likely account. So the likely account gives a elucidation of logos. Wow. If you take a look at the way in which he concludes the Timaeus, yes. That's the goal, to bring all of these terms together under one term, provenance. And that's his goal. Yeah. And the Timaeus I mean, does come after the Republic too. But what so what can that, kill? that may or may not be true, but that's another discussion. Can we discussion. hierarchically rank, let's say, noesis without or without some association with logos, intellection, meta logos, <coughs> and then logos itself? Mm -hmm. How are, how are these three to be differentiated, if at all? Well. The, uh, where we're going is that uh, noose, uh, pardon me, 
the same as a motion. <clears throat> and we have a daemon, which sits on the top of our heads, or beyond our heads. <laughs> which is, and the goal is to be able to turn your mind around in respect to what is called the same, and that is the highest activity of news. Mm. Yes. And to do that, you need phrenesis. See? Yeah. It's, <clears throat> it's an old question. How do you read Plato's dialogue? <laughs> the way in which we were, we were taking it this time was to say, let us make sure we see the end of the time is, spend some time in the beginning, but also on the end, so that we can then look at it through the eyes of from 72, 90, uh, 40, and 52. Is it possible to intellect without logos? It doesn't no. Is it possible? Yeah, sure. Really? What sure. Would, what would be the object of an intellection without logos? Well, many people who meditate and get states of enlightenment don't use logos, but they're in touch with news. What would it be for Logos itself to grasp? Was it the beginning of all? In the, in the, You'd see, the you, would necessarily, you would necessarily see goodness throughout the universe, which therefore allows you to say there is evidence that there's providence. But would, would, would okay, the last question. Then. The Logos itself, is that accompanied by intellection, intellect? Or is Accompany, that, it can be accompanied by it, it need not be. Each can function on their own, but together they're going towards a goal. And the goal is to show evidence or some argument, logos, that there is in fact pronoia or provenance, or that the nature of reality is in fact good, or in the uh, you know, book two of the Republic, you know, God is good in the nature of reality. So given that, then, now I see how crucial this passage actually is. Since they could all exist on itself, but yeah. here... Yeah, let, me, let me caution about something. Okay? I don't think I should answer anything. <laughs> really, I would right. love to hear more about what Barbara brought with us, but after, I do not mind engaging in any exploration, including that one. Or, or in fact, I'm hoping that, it'll, that we'll finish this and, and, and Pierre will jump off. Because there are some questions raised. I, yeah. I have some questions about this. Oh, I just wanted to also, uh, you, you, I remember I started speaking in response to your question. Isn't this like an amazing piece of literature that you were just reading, you, you were praising it, and I, and I felt that, and I, and I just wanted to bring it back to this. Like you read, while being on the one hand is to be embraced by means of the process of news, by means of logos, being always important to the same. Right, like you were reading that section, I, I liked it too. And, um, that's when I started commenting. I just want to give you give props back to that question that um, you know, but I don't know that we completely answered it. But isn't it amazing? You were asking us for help and praising it. I think. So being always <laughs> being always according to the same, that is it, you, the red indicates that that's that expression, and you can see. So you can see um, in the translation, I didn't highlight it, it might have been better, but being always according to the same, right, or with respect to the same, that, um, right, that's that term that we were looking at. What does that mean, right? Why did you translate it in the singular? And I think, um, because you can do that with neuters, mm. neuter plurals, they can be taken as abstract singulars. Mm. Yeah, I'm just curious, because it is... Hey, Mark, could you please let her just do her thing? I, I, come on, Sorry. stay on the subject. Come on, let's go. Okay, so, yeah. well, it's, the, the only problem I have is that um, with answering Greek questions is that there's only a few of us who understand them, and uh, that's why I well, like I to table ones on the side. To, to talk about them, because it is, this is an important term. Right? Pierre was mentioning a couple of weeks ago that hey, the term is also used for self. Let's, let's continue working, shall we? Thank you. Okay, so you have here the matters, This then there's a contrast with the matters of opinion, on the other hand again, 
must be taken to oneself. Now, this is the same term as embraced or comprehended, but I felt like because it's a lower uh, level of object that it could be translated with a lower terminology, right? And that's why the, the higher one embraced or comprehended is a tighter unity. And uh, I, I translated it in a lower way, but noted that they were the same term. So the matters of opinion, on the other hand, must be taken to oneself by opinion with unreasoning perception, which I thought is just a really interesting way to talk about the, the matters of opinion. So the matters of opinion must be taken to oneself by opinion with unreasoning perception, becoming and ceasing to exist, but never being in the way of being. Now, in the way of being is, a, is what they call an adverb, right? And it's, it's from the same root. It's like you have being, and then being is in the way of being, right? It's, so I, I, I they, you don't usually, people translate it really, mm -hmm. you know, being really. Or truly being. Or truly being. And I think both of those back away from the fact that it is simply an adverb from the same root. And therefore, it seems to me it's going to indicate the way of something. Right, the way something is, and in this case, being is as being, as being should be in a sense. Right, there's no differentiation between what it is and how it is. So it's like a so. Being I, the matter of being. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so you see, uh, or could it be said is never being being? Would that be a but it's in the way of being, so is there that? Ever being as being is, as, well, it's, I think you learn more about being in the way of Plato, you know, by, by a negative. You learn more that being is, in, in its own distinctive fashion, no, in no distinction between, like, the most brilliant light of being, it, right, in its radiance. There's no distinction between the way it is and what it is. Right. right. There's no dimin diminution. No diminishing, right? No change, no alteration. It is according to the same. It holds always according to the same. Never be. But you're drawing our attention to the negative, right? I was I was drawing my attention to the fact that Plato often uh, expresses affirmative points by making a point negatively mm -hmm. about the other side. That you have to read the negative as an affirmative. For for you have to read it in terms of the higher. You want to learn about being. So you want to learn that something about being through that point. So, so you see, it says, but again, every becoming is by necessity through some cause. For to have had origination apart from cause is impossible for all. Thus, on the one hand, whatever the demiurgos, always having his gaze fixed upon what holds or is according to the same, Using, in addition, such a paradigm, he turns out its idea and power complete. The Greek is just so precise. So, but it's a complex sentence. So you have, I think everyone can follow that to have had origination apart from cause is impossible. Nothing can originate without a cause for the origination. Nothing can come into being without a cause for the coming into being. So... The, but so the, on the one, they're going to contrast always. On the one hand, the demiurgos has his gaze fixed. The verb there is not just to look, but it's like to have your gaze fixed on something. Um, and again, so you see it? It's uh, on having his gaze fixed on what always holds or is. They make the point about this verb hold, that in Greek it often has the meaning of to, uh, to be, right? So, which is kind of fascinating reflection upon the nature of Greek thought. So, I think that um, you say it holds according to the same, or is according to the same. So the demiurgos, in, in fashioning the cosmos, has his gaze fixed upon what holds or is according to the same. And he uses, in addition, such a paradigm. And you'll see my point here. It's like, can you envision that? Here's the, here's the, the demiurge, and he's got his gaze fixed, and depending upon how you have that model, right, he's got crony in mind he's looking at. So he's fixed upon this model, and, well, he's fixed upon what is according to the same, and it says it uses, in addition, such a paradigm. 
And my footnote is about that fact. So it looks like there's two happening. Right, Mark? There's like what he's looking at, and then he uses a paradigm that is of such a nature as well. And Pierre was talking, I was saying, is that correct? And Pierre made the point, and saw, cause I, cause the, sorry, I get kind of caught up in my tongue sometimes, um, made the point that if you say that uh, when the demiurgos is, is contemplating a model, he has the, the contemplation of the, the thing itself, but he has the contemplation that enables him to use it as a model, so to speak. Hmm. That's not really a question at all. <laughs> now use the word paradigm. Right. So... Um, in the same line of thinking. In the same line of thinking. That, um, that the, the, the Demiurgos is contemplating crony and mind. In the contemplation of that, he, he sees it as a paradigm that he can use. Oh. Is that uh -huh. a way to talk about it? Well, the, the <coughs> See, if this is, if this is, right, if, if this is uh, the idea of, uh, uh, and he's always contemplating it, that means that the whole book the whole development of what's going on in the cosmos is continuously in the presence of or participating or coincidentally with the ongoing uh, contemplation of this by Zeus. Mm -hmm. That's ongoing. Well, okay. Now, try this. Now he's considering this for a paradigm. The big question will be later, does that mean he has exhausted saying to be the paradigm? Or did he have this contemplation and say, hey, you know what, that would be a great thing to pull out uh, or use it for. <coughs> Therefore, there might be a difference between the two. I'll do it again. Right. Yeah, do it again. There is saying. If he's going to use it for a paradigm, does that mean there is a difference between what he's using as the paradigm and same? That's all. I like them together. Right. So it's caught in that phrase. Right. It's caught in that in the Greek. Because it's like, I think, and for me, it really becomes clear with that quest, the way you phrased it to that does he exhaust the contemplation of crony and mind in the use of, cro in the production of the paradigm, or in the, slipped away from me again, but right? Yeah, because he's going to, he's going to use this, the same, <coughs> in the entire time is. Yes. And also a model. Okay. Uh, yes. My only... There's a. If there's the. It's how, Would you like me to send you the list of the, the word search of this according to the same yes. from the TLG? Because I have a list of the quotes mm -hmm. where you can find it. Because it's you'll you'll just be amazed at the thread, mm -hmm. the levels at which this exists in the Timaeus. <coughs> so if you just follow the quotes, you'll, you'll be able to do that. So I'll send it out. I'll send it out to the group, and you can either use it or not, as you like. Yeah. Yeah. Continue with it, and you can see the, okay. the, the, the drama, metaphysical drama going on in your next line. Keep, yeah, keep going. The, which, which, <coughs> well, anyway, he turns out, see, so that's, that's where, where whenever, whatever the demi is always having his gaze, always contemplating that which holds or is according to the same, using in addition such a paradigm, he turns out its idea and power complete. Right. right. He turns out its idea. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, cool. Um, to be thus perfected, it is wholly beautiful from necessity. In that Must necessarily be because he did it. Because he did it. He perfected from it. Such, yeah. Yeah. On the other on the other hand, I should say, whenever the demiurgus gazes towards and this is actually, I think, a different... No, this is the same, so it should be contemplated. Towards whatever has been generated, using a generated paradigm, 
See, there's the two again, right? He, he's gazing at what is generated and he's using a generated paradigm. Thus finished, he turns out what is not beautiful. But the whole heaven or cosmos, or if it be named anything else especially, let so be called. And that's where I stopped the translation for the moment. Okay, and then this is picking up 29A5, C5. To discover the maker and father of this all is a task, and having discovered him, to give an account to all is impossible. Thus it is necessary. Uh, right. And legain, to give an account is from the same root as the word logos, right? which is why I, I went with that. Having discovered him to give an account to all is impossible. Thus it is necessary to reflect again concerning it with respect to which of the paradigms the craftsman contrived it. Craftsman. And that's a different term, it's tectinomenos, which does mean craftsman as opposed to creator. Could you just slow down? I, I appreciate sure. it. Sure. Thank you. Do it, it again. That's necessary to reflect upon, but reflect again concerning it, with respect to which of the par paradigms the craftsman contrived it. And you'll see footnote 18 is, is the verb is from teston, a worker in wood, a carpenter, a joiner, a builder. And so I, I went with craftsmen, but I left the alternatives there. Any of you who see a way to make an argument towards one or the other can let me know or, or make the point now or later. Okay, so with respect to which of the paradigms the craftsmen contrived it, whether to that holding according to the same and in the way of the same. And what's fascinating here is you have not only Kata tauta ekhon, which is the same phrase, right? Whether, but it's also it adds this hosautos, which is in fact the adverb from um, from tauta, from to, so that in the same way we have being in the way of being, we have here the same in the way of the same, right? So it's there's a pair, a beautiful parallel of language. So. <clears throat> The contrast, or to that which has been generated. So then, if on the one hand the cosmos is beautiful and the demiurge is good, it is clear that he contemplated or fixed his gaze upon the eternal. But if on the other hand, which it is against famous to say, toward toward that, toward uh, oh, upon that which has been ge generated, so you can strike toward. And I made a note about famous, and they say it's impious or something like that. But the Greeks have a lot of words for impious. This is not a word for impious. This word, this word famous is actually like the very oldest goddess of justice in the kind of the way of um, fate or destiny, highest destiny. So um, I, it also can mean in the plural a divine oracle. And you know the work we've been doing has been suggesting providence and many terms that have to do with oracle and um, prophet and prophetic. So I wanted to make sure that you kept those themes when you when you consider this term. So you could say it just. So you could say which is which it is against divine justice or divine destiny to say, and it kind of brings in a different tonality to the to the sentence. No, no, one of the oldest terms. Famous is like um, the oldest. Um, um, she's, she predates Athena and predates, I believe, Zeus. She's quite, and this is the part that I, I kind of wrapped out in the last bit. But she is the, the word for, so she, so her kind of law and justice is old, is old, is an old one, right? Not a, Athena brought in, you know, right, a, a different kind of justice, uh, with, but, but the older justice, um, this is, is, Themis was the goddess of that justice, okay? And it's not clear, and I'm sorry about that, I need to do some more kind of about Themis? Yeah, about Themis. Okay, you can add it. I don't mind. Well, um, she unites with Zeus to produce the trio of daughters, justice, good government, and peace, in two lines of Hesiod. 
And then the word themis is rooted in tithemi, right? And Herodotus says about tithemi um, that the very word for god, gods and goddesses, theoi, and theoi, is rooted in this verb tithemi, which the root indicates placing or putting into order in the cosmos. That these are the powers that bring the cosmos into order. I just thought that would be a good point to make. You know, I think it is. Given the dialogue. I think it is. It's not a, it's not a Greeky grammar point. It's a, yeah. you know, it's a content based point. Yeah, that the very word for gods and goddesses is rooted in this idea of uh, ordering the cosmos. And while that's important, I think it's more important, if you don't mind my saying so, no, to, to, to point at what, what themes might tie into the that would be the, them, the themis has that same root verb. Right. right. Uh, that that Okay. Yeah. So, so the, the reasoning here is that the reason why you can't say that the Demiurgos is not good is because it's no, no. it's against Themis. Oh, I see. Hmm. I mean, the reason you can't make that counter counterpoint, you have to you have to claim that the universe is <coughs> that the Demiurgos is good because to make the counterclaim is is forbidden by law or Themis. I think the point is talking about what model was used yeah. rather than, right? But the reason why they're choosing the higher model is yes. because the Dimi God is good, we use the word God, or the Dimi Yergos is good and the universe is beautiful. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, oh, yeah. But both of those, but both of those are just taken on faith in, in here, or, or, or taken as an assumption. I think. I, I, think it's, I think it's just really interesting. I, I don't interesting. think it's really an assumption. I, I, th I. Sorry. No, I just think it's great that you're handling these kind of questions. Also, Please. um. It's not just an assumption. No, I haven't forgotten my train of thought. I'm just wondering if it's an adequate line of reasoning um, that I was going to proceed with. I was just going to say, Carrie, that I, I think it has to do with the fact that that when a when a when a craft craftsman, according to the argument here, is when a craftsman looks at a, and it's it's similar to the Republic, right? If you have an artist who's looking at a thing that comes into being and passes away, then he's producing a copy of something that comes into being and passes away, and it loses accuracy and reality. And to, to that degree. So then they're saying that because the universe is most beautiful, then it can't have been based upon a, uh, a cop, it can't have been based upon the, the, the creator of that universe looking at something that has come into being passed away as a model. Well, right? I'm just taken by how important that idea of beautifulness. Oh, yes, it is. The Greek mind looked out at the universe and said, this is beautiful. Yes, and yes. Therefore, the creator must be looking at an eternal paradigm. It was before light pollution. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, so, what is the demi ergos lacking? What, what? what do you mean lacking? Well, because. He's what is the demi lacking? Because he's looking, at, I mean, he or she is looking at a model. I mean, there's no. They're looking, he, but he's, but in, he's looking to his own mind, right? He's lacking. He's lacking. Yeah, what is he That's lacking? A good question. The idea. Well, yeah, we were. They sh Barbara was talking about um, an artist looking at a model, and no, he know, doesn't have that. There's, no. and so I was asking, what is the demiurgos lacking? Well, I thought you answered it then. Pierre did. Yeah, the the paradigm or the idea, he lacks that. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he has to have it from some other place. Okay. That's Kronos. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Or put it this way, he's an efficient cause. The formal cause is Kronos, which is the paradigm, which is same. Look, look, look. No, I'm just, <laughs> I've got to take another look at this. That just gives me a good question. So, well, um, I am, I mean, really enjoy it. So, yes, so. We're, we're just one line away from finishing it. So, yes, so it says for on, okay, um, mm -hmm. but it is clear to everyone, do, I want you, I'd like to know any questions you have about that famous thing, because I thought that was a fascinating, see, as I'm asking for questions as opposed to 
any of your profound thoughts. That I was going to leave that for for him to ask. Well, uh, have you finished it though? Okay. Uh, well. Because I'll ask a question if you have. Okay, I'm I've, I'm just two lines, so I'll just finish reading no. it. But um, but it is clear to everyone that he fixed his gaze or contemplated the eternal. For on the one hand, and I put this in, pr in brackets because it doesn't have the reference. Um, but that, those are the two names given to it earlier. For on the one hand, the heaven or cosmos is the most beautiful of what has been, it should say, generated. He, on the other hand, is the best, and this is the superlative of good, right? Just like we have in English, good, better, best. Mm -hmm. Thus having been generated according to what is comprehensible, that's that term again, embraced or comprehended, by logos and by phronesis. Hmm. Uh, it has also been created according to what holds according to the same. Right? Nice. So. We don't get any clearer well, on phronesis, though. Nice. Isn't that amazing? And then, and then you get phronesis thrown in there, too. Yes, I find it amazing, the theme. And as I said, you know, I'll be happy to send you folks a list of references. It, you know, it'll still be tough, but, but you'll see it. Okay. Thanks. Ah, that's right? Good. Hey, I just have one question before yes. I do. Yes. And she has a right to call on everybody here. Oh, good. Let's see if that's true. Uh, Sean, is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, therefore, if you have an argument, pick it with him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just one thing, okay? That's a small thing. You got it yeah, there. Right. Um, uh, would you read that last, thus? Thus, having been generated... According to what is comprehensible by Logos and by Phronesis, right. it has also been created according to what holds according to the same. I like her. Go back into that whole section and outline what you'd say. Logos. Whatever is left over is going to be for an ISIS. And there's going to be the third part, the role of same. Can you do that? And then you got it. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Outline the role of Logos, for and same in that section. Oh. Just making sure I heard you guys here. You know, I didn't. Okay, got it though? Come on. No, got Mark, the conclusion? Got the conclusion. Yes, yeah, please, please just go to the conclusion. I have the conclusion, but. It says, does it not? Thus, conclusion. Having been generated according to what is comprehensible by Logos and by Phronesis, conclusion. Having been generated according to what is comprehensible by Logos, right? You should be able to go back and find the role of Logos and Phronesis, would you agree? And the third, it's also been created according to Sam. Okay, go back and break it up into the three parts. Jack will give a talk on this. You want her to go first? Yeah. <coughs> I already tried the symposium one. Well, I think it's time we're going to get to the chapter. Okay, come on. Come on. Well, that's okay. Would you agree you should be able to go back and identify from the section? You hmm. say, I'm puzzled about oh, this curious word. 28, and, 29. Uh, That's what she did. She just translated it from the Greek. To right? Well, forget it. Just give me, uh, go back and say, I think I have an idea of what this word means. Now I can just go back over to that section I just read for the highlight hmm. and mark up all the sections that deal with logos, what's left over. Should be able to be phrenesis, and I should be able to see the role of same in respect to those two. In respect to those two. Agree? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yes. Okay, do it. That's reading. Right, you're turning it upon you. You're turning it upon yourself. Right now, you're using your mind, you're turning around and looking at this cookie again. Right? What, do you, what kind of activity are you doing? You're turning around and reflecting upon that. 
Zeus is turning around and reflecting upon the ideas. You're turning around and reflecting on these ideas. You're in that sense <clears throat> participating in something analogous, not the same, analogous. Okay. And according to the old principles, would you agree the person who can do it first should go out and uh, we should get them a six pack? Yes. Seven pack. <laughs> six pack. <laughs> <no. clears throat> Especially if Martha's oh. buying okay. you. Okay, try it this way now. <clears throat> yes, go ahead. I'm oh well if you if you keep that parallel going, is there any difference between phronesis then in terms of a reflection on that kind of idea and providence in uh, oh <laughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> well, he wants to push it into providence this quickly. I wonder if it Okay, that's no, but that's where it's going. <clears throat> but you need a couple more ideas. And you won't be able to do it with this conclusion. Might be able to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Could be. I'm wondering That's on the third category. Yeah. I'm wondering if like logos there may be different types of or different kinds of def meanings to it. Oh, go ahead and, and do the, it. And the reason I say that is because when we had earlier what is becoming always never let's see, by means of the activity by means of logos. Uh, you are a, you comprehend kind of Gina, see, anyway whatever, see, whatever, uh, whatever way you have of understanding this term go ahead go back into the text and tell us what you find okay. ideally watch you should be able to go back and say Can oh All of that deals with this word, <coughs> according to the way in which I understand this word, logos. Right. right. Then what's left over, <clears throat> you should say, I wonder whether that fits this word. So now you look at it, you say, oh, well, I think maybe it fits uh, here, here. Oh, there's also this. Yeah, I've got to put that in and see how that relates to the other two. Okay, do it. Well, I... <laughs> I saw that logos was by means of logos uh, it gets into the act comprehension of being. However, he does talk about uh, on the other, whenever the demiurgus gazes toward what has been generated using a generated paradigm, thus finished, he turns out what is not beautiful. He doesn't put a name on that I, activity. I noticed that. Therefore, and so I was going to say that is phronesis, but that's not how we've been talking about phronesis. We don't care about that. Hold your position. So Prepare I would, to hold for it. Come, so he hasn't it. named that what that activity as he did Gina, by means of logos. He you, didn't talk please, about. Please go back into it now with your insight. Mark the parts you think that fit with either idea, and let's talk about it. It means doing it. I thought. Okay. Right, don't talk about it. Do it. What? But to do it, we have to talk about it. To work. Doing it? Well, when you say outline the role, if you're outlining something, you've got to put it into words, right? You will then be able to put it into the relationship after you outline it. I'm with you. It's easier said than done. Hey. But you're never going to find out unless you jump in and do it. Right? Don't talk. Work. You, you talk, you don't work. Come on. Put the two together. But first, do it after you've done the work. I'm not with before. You. For those of us who don't have a copy, could you, could you give us the Stephanus number exactly of where you Yeah, 28. It's 28 to 29. It's puzzle, but it's 28 to, to 29. 28 to 29. Okay, you got it. Yeah, that's right there. You can almost read the parallel. Thank you. That's right. 28 to 29. That's okay, Barbara. That was really good. Thank you, Barbara. Yes. Enlightening.
Whenever we're doing work, I, I'm just wondering generally. Like, what do you want to wonder for? Why don't you do the work? Where do you draw the line? What are you drawing? What are you worried? What are you talking for? I'll tell you what. Because I got up. What to, for? I got up to the board to do work on this. Oh, this. baloney! And work. Come on, make the distinctions. Don't give me any talk. Well, I'm just. All right. Come on. I have a think? question right now. I'll just shut up. Because you didn't tell me to shut up three times before when I was talking. Look here, there's an assignment. Do you want to talk or do you want to do the assignment? I'm going to do it. Well, do it. I will. Will is future. Yes. Do it now. We can do it now. <laughs> okay, so we don't know this. Now, as you're doing it, you should be able to do two things. You should be able to talk about the trouble you're having, the difficulty you're having, if you're having any, because Having difficulties is just as good as having an insight, right? That says where you're stuck, right? Either one. So rephrase the assignment again. Word. I forgot. Uh, Ms. What was the assignment? I was out of the room. It's hard. Dude. I have a, I have according to the conclusion, which hey, is... Hey, according to the conclusion, the conclusion was, thus, you have the section on thus, 29? Yes. Deals with three major ideas, logos, phrenesis, and same. Agree? Yes. All right, since it's a conclusion, the guy is either foolish, and he was writing very poorly at this point of time, or in fact he knows what he's writing about and he's making those <coughs> distinctions. Either he was very foolish. Anybody see my bag? Yeah. No? Yes, over there. Here, here. here. And then it was here. over here. <laughs> I haven't seen a bag pointed to in more directions since my. Well, it was there, and we moved the table, so uh, that's what happened. <laughs>
one and all use it well we have logos as that which is directed towards the activity of noose and being I'm, I'm not sure if I'm clear on that but in this <coughs> in these sections it's there's a description of the demiurgus making going through a process or, 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 or cons looking at the same and seeing that as beautiful and then from that an idea comes and he he turns it out however he also is looking at what is not beautiful that is what's generated, the paradigm of generation. And he's making the distinction that what is it that follows from that. Okay. And so I'm considering that he says down here, thus it is necessary to reflect again concerning it with respect to which of the paradigms the craftsman contrived it. And so in the process of this very discussion here, we're going we're doing what the Demiurgus, it seems like, is doing. And he's turning his direction towards, or he's making the distinction towards that which is eternal. And that, I I was thinking that may be phronesis. Okay, that's it. Okay. That process. Okay. That's what of course we're not going to accept that here. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Not when he phrases it like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, this is an essential question. It is. How do you know when an answer answers a question? Let's just say, I don't know what Why not accept it? Why not? Or anybody's, or mine. How do you know when an answer truly answers a question? This is a ancient problem. I, I know one thing though. The assignment that I gave you to work it out this way was not done. Work it out this way. Right. Well, there isn't any references to phronesis. At the end Watch. Of That's right. But I did outline all the... Okay, if you want me to, I can tell you which ones are local. Please don't... Look, are you following what I'm saying now? I thought I did. Oh, you did it? Oh, well then... You could then just go through us, tell us what part belongs to which, and I'll just mark it by the line number, and you can... Uh, right. We'll have it. Right. Then you're making a distinction between... Uh, is there a distinction? Is there a distinction between uh, logos and something else? Well, just cover logos. Okay. And what's left over, we're assuming, is what's missing. Yeah. If you do it, then you should hand in something like this. You don't need to put in anything of your own. You don't need any of your own words. All you need to hand in is this, right, the same sheets with two markers, one green and one yellow or two other colors, and mark one color one and one the other color, and you got it. 
with that third section of the roll of shame. Agree? I mean, I was, now it may be that the question is not real. That means not that my the English is correct, but it may not really fit this paragraph or this section or this convention. <coughs> in which case, I'm asking you to do something which, in principle, is impossible to do. And I'll, I'll apologize and say, well, I thought it was a good idea. What the heck? It's one or the other. Right, and I, either way we win. Would you agree, first of all, that there's a phrase that's central? <clears throat> what part are we dealing with so far? Created part, become, agree? That which is generated. Unless he's using the word to talk about the whole thing and say, oh, that which I have generated from the beginning of my talk. That's another use of the word generated. Right? You have to make a decision about that. Well, suppose we were to just change it, make it simple for people like myself, all right? And say, so, is it possible that we're only following reasoning, a certain kind of reasoning here, logical reasoning? Is there any part of it that goes beyond that? Bang! Does he make a jump? Does he make a jump from one kind of reasoning to another in this section? That's all. Yeah, it's the kind that Barbara makes when she gets inspired up at the board. Yeah. It's inspiration is more than. Uh, could you give me an answer to the text? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. Pernasus <laughs> is inspiring me. Yeah, that which always is goes beyond the logical, does it not? What does? Uh, the toe on I, the being that always is. Okay, watch. I can pick out one that he knows goes beyond logos. And he's telling us it goes beyond logos. 29C5. To discover the maker and father of this all is a task. And having discovered him to give an account of it, it is, it is impossible. What does that mean? No, no logos. No logos. Hmm. Got another one? Okay. Well, there's something else going down on in the next line. It says to reflect again. So that's episcopteon, mm -hmm. to investigate or reflect because of the epi. Yeah, yeah, you're going to, hey, uh, because of that, yeah, you can't do it mm -hmm. for all men. It's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in this section that looks like it does follow from step by step, and therefore you don't have to, you don't need anything else to reach the conclusion than a series of steps? Fine, that's reason. Well, 
doesn't he contrast it with it is clear to everyone that he fixed his there's a conclusion from several steps right? yeah. that um they're asked, he's asking the question with respect to which of the paradigms and he says whether um, and then he, he reasons that if the co so if the cosmos is beautiful and the demiurg is good then a certain conclusion follows if on the other hand right towards what has been generated and then his conclusion it is clear to all so that would, would right therefore we've got a, another good example of logos yes Right? Yes. Clear to everyone, reasoning. and this is the reasoning he does it. Ah! we got two cases. Ah! What do you know about that? Wow! Interesting. See, so mark it up. See, mark it up. As it were. See? Say, um, would you agree there, there's kind of interesting point that Barbara was making about <coughs> at 28 in our quote, while being on the one hand is to be embraced by means of the process of news by means of logos, being always according to the same, the matters of opinion, on the other hand, must be taken to oneself by opinion with unreasoning perception. Look at that. Must be taken to oneself. See? Isn't that curious? See? On one, what is, on the one hand, what's the contrast? See, he's making a contrast between the two. Matters of opinion, on the other hand, Right, again, must be taken to oneself by opinion, by means of unreasoning perception. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm, you know, I made the point that that's the same term, but I changed the <coughs> translation because of the object. Oh. Okay, yeah. I just didn't want to mislead you. No, that's okay. okay. Oh. Hmm. But there are two processes going on, two are there processes. not? Yes, absolutely. No. Yeah. And one is obvious, and one we're having a problem with. <laughs> Therefore, that's hmm. interesting. What can we conclude with that? Would everyone agree with the uh, statement about matters of opinion? Yeah, yeah. matters of opinion are. Well, I'm and therefore, it follows. Being intimidated to speak up to yeah, you. Pardon me, and why do you want to interrupt me? What's that? Why do you want to interrupt what I'm doing? I'm sorry. I just want to point out that you you have a great active mind, and you're full of enthusiasm. But sit on it for a moment. Sit on it for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're making a point between two Please. things. Don't interrupt it. Unless you want to add to it. No, no, no. Please. Not yet. Question. The matters of opinion, on the other hand, must be taken once up by opinion. Is that something that uh, you're all familiar with and we can all understand? Therefore, what would you, in what group would you put it in? Logos. Logos, is that right? But everyone would agree the other is just as, uh, or is it? No, well, being on the one hand is embraced by means of the process of news, by means of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Much harder. Can you just reason your way to that? Or is that a jump? Hey, could that be this? Mm. 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 Yeah. There's something that's making the jump and it ain't logos. <clears throat>
about then first of all we must in my opinion <clears throat> make the following distinction what is being always having no origination and what is becoming always never being what kind of a statement Is he making a distinction between two things? Mm -hmm. Becoming and being? Yeah. Well, you say that it's... See, pardon me. Sorry. You say that it's beyond um, the logos, but on the other hand, there's a, a very close similarity between the two phrases. Yes. Like, for instance... That's right. No essay meta logo, right. by means of the process of news by means of logos, right. is directly paralleled in every way by doxe meta I stay self, by opinion, uh, by means of perception. without logoless perception. Yeah. And and even the, yeah, the structures. That structure. which is grasped or that which is front that which is embraced by Intellection by or by the means of the process of news by means of logos, mm -hmm. that which is opine mm -hmm. by <coughs> opinion by means of logos perception. So it seems like if this is phronesis, and it's a direct parallel of the divided line, mm. the two lower doxe doxa, mm -hmm. and the two higher noes noes noesis. Mm -hmm. Then phronesis seems to, if there's a phronesis, then it, it's an analogic um, move. It's essential, it is essential in Plato's dialectic that there's a leap. It's a leap, but it's a, but there's a leap. Yeah, an analogy, a leap, right. But going back to that one point, um, uh, see, this idea of being, look here. This idea here, being. Uh, <coughs> uh, did you reach it by some reasoning? Or does it even entertain this notion? Did, did you have to reason your way to this? Or is that a leap? Yeah, but what level of meaning do you want to give to Logos, though? Right now you're talking about Logos as if it's a, a logical... That's why I said it here. See, first, we take it on the simplest logical reasoning. Uh, That's right. <clears throat> you might be able to eat some mushrooms and have an experience like this, right? You wouldn't have to necessarily reason your way to it. You could pop off into it with a chemical reaction or something. Would that be an answer? And that's why uh, quite a few people like the fall season up at Salt Point in California. That's true. Now get back to the text. <laughs> so right now you're just deciding which type of logos it's not. That's where we're going. Because... <clears throat> In the Republic, the word logos can go from uh, each craftsman has a logos. For Seneca has a logos. A logos. <coughs> Socrates has a logos. Right? Remember that big one where he says, hey, you better watch out what I'm doing. I may give you a false coin. Therefore, everything after that is a very high sense of logos. Yeah, that's right. It depends upon how much we're going to invest in this term. But before we go jumping into the Republic to try to solve a problem in the time is, I'd rather stay in the time is rather than make a jump to another dialogue at this point. So can we contrast then um, the two objects? One is embraced by Nus and Logos, the other is embraced by Logos and Phronesis. And describe those two well, okay, just before you do that, though, 
there's this still third, the third issue. Would it has also been created according to what holds according to the same. We haven't done that. <clears throat> It's also been created. See, we're starting with what's generated or created. Well, the object of Nus and Logos holds according, or is according to the same. And the, the object of Logos and Phronesis is what... <laughs> Well, As I understand, it's the thing that's according to the same and in the same way. <clears throat> See, you're bringing up the, the major issue, which is why in this point doesn't he have a fourth term? I am? Noose. Oh, right. It's a different thing. So if we're, so if we're oh. continuing that same model, or same idea of a leap, then would it be demonstrated that he turns out its idea and power complete? Well, would that part, mean that it would be yeah, give a us jump? Yeah, the part that you think might fit. Well, it's not logical. It's he has to make a leap to turn. I thought you were going to give an example of the leap, so well, tell us what page you're on, and we can use it. I don't know what page. It's just a he turns. Oh, there, you have, oh, you he have turns. It in front of you. He turns out its idea and power complete. Like he's looking at something and using it in addition such a at such a paradigm, and then he turns out its idea and power and complete. Well, where are you going to put the idea of leap with these th three or four ideas now? Well, it's not it's not a logical. Okay, so now how about the other three? Phronesis, because he he makes the he, the where does the idea come from? It it doesn't come by logic. It, it's like suddenly it's he or suddenly, I don't know. Okay. Suddenly. You're not giving me a sentence that I can use. You were going to make a judgment about whatever sentence it is, whether it fits in one, two, three, or four. See, so look, we'll put it this way, okay? If you look at that conclusion, is there any reason you might uh, <coughs> consider? Oh, I see why he didn't include news as the fourth term. If you do, you're saying. Because it's not Jerry. Isn't it because news is the demiurgus? Therefore, since he's referring to him already in other terms. Would you agree, one, two, three, four? Yes. Can you tell us why? He didn't include in the conclusion news. Because he didn't need to, because news is implicit in this whole process. Ah, I'm just assuming it's a word of ah, five mysteries where you Come don't on, need to do everything. Don't put it in your head. There's nothing there. Okay. <laughs> well, how about his reference to... No, no. Look here. See, there's nothing in your head worth looking at. It's in the text. Well, we Go in your to... head. You're wasting your time. Right. I'm on this. Please, screen. don't be... Hey, you got a point? Excuse me, someone else was talking. Go ahead. Well, I concluded that the difference was, uh, was that I always is not. The, the object for Nus and Logos has, is similar to the object of Logos and Phronesis in that according to the same. But the difference is that the object of Nus and Logos, it always is. Whereas the object of Phronesis and Logos holds, afford, holds in the way of same. I mean, the word same is an image. Okay, look, look, look. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm satisfied. How about you guys? Noose is a generator. I'm sorry. Well, I guess the point I was—I guess what I saw was that hierarchically, the object of nous and logos is higher, of a more same nature. It's, it's always the same, whereas the object of phronesis and logos 
is lower on the hierarchy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was one Why is it, it, it come on, why not accept that as an answer? Because you don't accept it. Ah, uh, phooey on you. Okay, <laughs> phooey. Come on, get in the text. You know, you're right, you're right. Come on, those, those comments don't help anything. I'm just saying. Shh, shut up. You're the approver. Come on. Shh. If you silent. Approve, people will listen. To Silence you. is close to godliness. All right. <laughs> because noose isn't generated. Say, so, would you agree, talking. let's go back, please, to this quote and see whether this makes a difference, all right? Okay, just reading. Um, could you find a quote where he's using the word noose for me? I do. Yeah, could you read it? What uh, is it doing? What is that? Oh no. Now one of these is apprehensible by thought with the aid of reasoning. What is noose doing, please, in that quote? It's the it's the agent of the apprehension. The of what? No. Of it's dealing with is it dealing with what is generated? No. Or is it generate or is it concerned with only the same? And our subject is, in this conclusion, what? Yeah. Thus, the which, which having been generated, the goal is what? To see it in terms of what? Mm. That which is generated. Mm. Therefore, there's no need to put noose, right. since noose at this point is being directed solely towards sin. Wow. Mm. What's the difference? Right, I'll look her. So, is that an answer? How is it different than the other answer? Whoever gives it. The heck with whoever gives the answer. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference who gives the answer. I just now got the question. So. What? I just now got why you were asking me the question about why use is not included. I didn't know you were asking about that point. That's Pardon me, that's all I'm doing is asking about the text. I'm, well, no, 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 I'm no, no, glad no. you're into it. The last sentence. Of course. I didn't know you were referring to the last sentence until just now. Well, I'm glad you're with us. Uh, finally. You know. That's okay. <laughs> hey, that's a success. Slow learner. And that will quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what constitutes an answer? Right? How much sophistication is required? Is it there? Is there enough material there to conclude? Now, there are 20 places in this text, at least that I've marked, that deal with this curious word for nasus. It's connected with providence. This whole thing is nothing other than justification that the universe is created for providential reasons. That's what he's doing. All right, going back to the beginning, 28, that's what he says, isn't it? And hey, why is that? You know what's interesting? Look here. This is really a great question. If this is what some people experience, right? Here's Harry Dravidovich. Right? And someone comes along and says, by the way, pretty nice state you're in. <laughs> How does it relate to everything going on right now? Huh? Yeah, like this. Hey. How does it relate to whether or not there's any goodness in the universe? Huh? <laughs> I just dig this. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> I just dig this. Hey, is it possible that you could tell us the relationship between this and the creation of the universe? And from this to show that there's necessarily providence in the universe? That is a particularly good that's manifesting itself for each person to their unique benefit that can bring them along progressively into a higher more meaningful state of mind or spiritual state of mind, that's the time ends. Yeah, how's this guy? He's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whether it came by mushrooms or meditation or what. And to do what he has to do, look what he needs. Look what he needs. <whistles> has to have a different view of God than you'll find in any other literature. There isn't any spiritual work known that's doing what the time is is doing. There's no other work that shows providence in this way. It doesn't exist. So, I understand the part where the object of um, the logos and nurse is the same. 
No, for phonesis sure. and logos, sure. the object is, am I getting it right, that the object is something generated? Yes, having been generated, and we're saying that the object, see, the logos go, there has to be some connection between logos and this, and the generator. But, okay, so how, where is it that we see that the object of phronesis and logos is something generated? That is something? Generated. I didn't. I said it's not. Of phronesis and logos? Pardon Noose. No, I know. Noose and logos. Fine. Thank you. I'm okay with that. Okay, okay, good. The level I'm... So that we can take this out. Right. Go ahead. So the object of phronesis and logos, though... Where, where is it that it says it, it is generated? That object is generated. I wish I had your question. Could you do it again? The object of phronesis and logos is something generated. Yes. Where does it say that? It doesn't. Unless you want to now make an analysis and see where you can see how these terms are being used. In other words, can you conclude by making this kind of analysis? that that conclusion could be made? That's all. Either can be or can't be. Well, what? did you hear Pierre say that? I thought, I thought that's his point, that it is general. I thought that was a conclusion. Yeah, no, you accepted this. This is the major goal, one of the major goals. Right. I, I didn't that. Wonderful. <clears throat> but wait, what? Okay. Let me just ask, what is the object of Logos and Phronesis? The object is to try to show you that the idea of sameness can be transformed into a paradigm which, as a consequence of the paradigm being focused upon by the divine, can create a universe that has justice within it and therefore providence. And he can only do that through these two tools. But he first has to show that this has to be known. Okay, good. So that which is without generation is noose. Yeah. So no, it's, no. The, it's, it's, the, it's what he says right here is always real being. The real always. Being. That's always right. real being. Yeah. That ends it. Now we go to the next step, which is the generated step. Okay. No. Well, that's an interesting word. I have a friend of mine who read the whole thing. <laughs> Did you have a friend that understood it? (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for your attention. And Barbara? Thank you, Barbara. I would, if you don't want it, I'll take it. I would like to use it for reference to the book. One word we need to look upon more Um, later. Two different translations. Where do you have one? Yeah. That's that she sent, she'll, I don't need it. it. So, it's not, you know, it's one idea, one form. Yeah. That's in, this, that. in, in the Cedo. It's that's really, oh, it's I, literally uni form. Yes, but in the in the uh, Timaeus, it's not, I don't think. I think that it's not uh, uniform. I don't think it's monoleidic. It's, um, some basic it's different. Okay. He's yeah, translating well, something else. That's what he says right here, exactly. That's why I bracketed that.